In this video, I'm going to be going over exactly everything that I want to do in this year in terms of business to make sure that I crush it. Hey guys, welcome back to Common Lad. If this is your first time joining me here, which it most likely is because I'm a pretty small channel here, I've just started out by wanting to document my hustles, all the different business ideas I have, all the different things I do to execute on those ideas. I want to document them all here on this channel. So I'm making this video to go over my plan for 2020. Obviously, we're just going into the new year here and I want to cover every single thing that I want to accomplish during this year and how exactly I want to go about doing that. If you're somebody that's coming from my TikTok page or another YouTube video or an Instagram post, I don't know what it would be, but I am going to try to send people to this video so they can kind of understand the entirety of what this channel is focused on. And that's why I'm making this here today to kind of clarify everything. You guys will know exactly what to expect and how exactly I want to get into the new year here. So anyway, thank you guys all for joining me. And uh, let me start out here by just saying that I want to focus on three primary businesses this year. Uh, last year, I really got into a whole bunch of different things uh, between Instagram influencers and pages and stuff like that. And I did a whole bunch of stuff on eBay, tool around a little bit with Shopify, Instagram, I already said Instagram, but uh, a whole bunch of different things. I'm mainly a reseller of retro video games at the moment, uh, but I did, again, play around in Poshmark and a whole bunch of different e-commerce sites like that. So uh, I am pretty experienced in all the different fields. What I found throughout the year was that it was pretty reckless of a strategy. I just sort of did whatever felt right at the time and I didn't really have a great plan going into things. I decided to start a new business here. I wanted to run a new page here or something and the work just really piled up on top of each other. So I decided to go through everything that I'm working on right now and everything that I also want to add to my kind of roster, all the businesses that I want to be running and I narrowed them down into three main ones and I also went ahead and eliminated everything that I didn't think was going to be worth my time and then focused on a couple additional things such as pages and little things that I think could be additional good hustles for me to do. And that's essentially what I want to break down in this video is all those things and uh, what I want to accomplish here and this is kind of going to be a good guiding point for me as well. I can come back and watch this in the future and I can figure out what exactly I had planned and what I was thinking about for certain ideas and how I want to execute on them. So I'm going to dive right into it here. Well Played Games is the video game store uh, slash page that I run. It's so far been my most profitable, uh, highest revenue business that I have here. And it's the thing that I've mainly been documenting on this channel. It sells retro used video games, everything from uh, the newest systems to the oldest ones uh, on eBay. And that's how the whole page kind of works. There's not much kind of external uh, advertising that goes into that page. However, we do have an Instagram theme page built under the exact same brand, which has 35,000 followers at the time of this video. So it has turned into a little bit of a brand in that sense. But we went through 2019 selling quite a few hundred video games. It was a pretty successful year in terms of that stuff. But that is going to be the first business here that I really want to focus on. Again, there's three, and that is going to be number one. So I want to focus on this one because we already have the brand in place. To be honest, if I was starting off again and knowing what I know now, would I go into the same thing? Maybe, maybe not. But I feel like since I already have the infrastructure in place and I've already built up these pages for it and whatnot, uh, I really want to focus on it. So my goal is to kind of double down on the amount that I'm listing on eBay every single day and maybe increase the amount of lots that I'm getting in. But right now I have a lot of inventory that's sitting that isn't listed, which is kind of annoying. So that's going to be one of the major things that we're going to go into. Also, I want to follow my journey with the YouTube page. It's kind of been one of my dreams, I guess, to, uh, to run a YouTube page, which is why I started this page as well. And it's the Well Played Games on YouTube, which has really struggled for me. It's probably about three, four actually years now that I've been running it. And we are at about 700 and something subscribers. And we have about 200,000 total views on the channel. So for about a year, I posted every single day on that channel, but now I've dropped it down to just three times a week and trying to improve the quality of those videos. But I think what I've realized now after doing them for so many times is that I'm kind of going a little bit crazy, considering the fact that I'm basically creating the exact same amount of content, but I'm not actually getting anything back from it. It takes a lot of time out of my day to plan and create these kind of videos. They're all gaming videos, which again, I'm not really a high level gamer by any means so I'm to some extent not really even qualified to make these videos but I try to do my best um, but at the same time I've kind of explored how to videos and other things which I think could still be really successful. Anyway, moral of the story, one of the major things for Wallplay Games I want to focus on this year is getting the YouTube up to par, maybe getting some other creators on there if we can you know, outsource them and making some videos, trying new things that we haven't tried before that could maybe result in a better result for the YouTube channel. I want to grow subscribers in there and I want to get more and more views because I think that's another great way to grow the brand and even potentially be a source of revenue further down the line. So that's it for the YouTube channel. I really want to experiment with new stuff. Otherwise, we might have to dump it because it's just really not creating anything. It's not creating followers, not really creating views, not really creating any sort of brand awareness. It's pretty much useless as of uh, the moment and it takes a lot of time. Last thing quickly that I want to talk about for Well Play Games is the Shopify side of things. I have created a Shopify page. I've ordered the samples from there and I'm waiting for those to get in. Once those get in, I'm going to launch a full force Shopify page 
on the uh, on the Instagram, and we're really gonna try to promote through and see how it goes. Give me my first kind of experience with the real Shopify page, which is gonna be really cool. But it's all built, it's all done, and I have all the uh, all the products laid down in there that I've chosen. I'm just waiting for the samples to arrive. I might make a couple cool marketing pieces, and then we're gonna put it all up and launch it and see how it goes. And that's gonna be one of the major things I'm gonna be documenting too on this channel. So hopefully you'll stick around for it. Should be about in a month from now. All right, so that basically covers business number one. Business number two and three haven't even been started, which is why you might be a little bit confused because all the other things that I'm running at the moment are basically either getting dumped or they're gonna be a much smaller scale or much kind of like a hustle project, just something that we do kind of for fun. But the other two major businesses I'm gonna get into right now. And these ones will be a little bit quicker about because again, I don't really know too much about them. There's things I'm gonna experiment with and play around with. The first one is going to be online t-shirts. And I know what you're probably thinking, that's a horrible idea, but I have a pretty great way or pretty great idea as to how I wanna execute on this. I'm not gonna go over it all in this video, but uh, I do think that we're gonna be successful with it. Anyway, we're gonna promote that whole page through influencer marketing, and uh, that's it. It's just gonna be probably ran through Teesprings or one of the other companies that you can use to make custom t-shirts. I'm not gonna build a Shopify website for it. It's gonna be that simple. Put you know a couple designs out there on logos and see if we can generate some income that way, but I think that could work pretty well. So that's pretty much it for the t-shirt brand. The third thing that I wanna get into here is gonna be a Shopify store. I have sort of wanted to make the shift away from uh, housing all my inventory here just because I feel like it's much more profitable to send directly to the customers, and I think it'll just be easier and quicker to expand on. It's a lot less work, and I think it will allow us to run multiple things at once, which is why I wanna get more into it. Again, I'm not very experienced in this industry, but the first thing that we're gonna be doing for the Shopify is going to be to purchase an Instagram page, and that's because I know Instagram in and out, and I think that it's gonna be really valuable to have that asset that we can go ahead and market onto the followers. Something with 25 to 100,000 followers on it, we can hopefully grow it a little bit too, maybe sell it in the future, but I wanna just start off here by buying one so then we can promote on it, and that's gonna be the sole purpose of that page. It'll probably be a theme page and whatnot, and the store will be based on whatever that theme page is. So if I buy a theme page in the car niche, which I probably wouldn't because I already have one, but if I did buy one, then we'd probably do some sort of product for a car. If I bought a theme page in the fashion niche, we're gonna do some sort of fashion product. So that's gonna be kind of cool. I actually hope to do this twice during this year. I'm gonna do one of them at the beginning here, and then we're gonna move on to one maybe in August or the summer at some point if we can get the first one running well. So I'm really excited about that and buying the Instagram page is probably gonna be one of the first things that we're gonna jump into this year. I wanna jump right into this business and I wanna get it done, hopefully launched by the end of February at the latest, but I wanna kinda of push for the end of January even though it might be a little bit unrealistic. Anyway, those are sort of my three core businesses that I wanna now follow on this page. So if you're excited about them, hopefully you uh, at this point are ready to follow the page and you can see me post about all of those. Let's now jump into a couple of little hustles I'm gonna be working on as well as Common Lad itself and what are my plans for that. So we'll start with my wholesale store, which always is operated behind Well Play Games. To be honest, it's kind of been a little bit of a bonus. Uh, every once in a while, we'll get a nice little sale from there, and, uh, and it'll generate some nice little bits of money, but to be honest, it's nothing big. I think it's done like $300, $400 in the last 60 days or something. It's not, it's not that beneficial. It's not worth me spending my time on. I don't want to dump any more money into it. I put a lot of money into it. I probably have at least two grand in it, which is not a lot, but for just, just inventory alone, I've done a lot of marketing and Facebook ads and stuff like that, and it just, it's, it's, not, it's not amazing. So I think we're gonna leave it up, like we're gonna leave it running. Uh, that was kind of my idea because I've already done all the work for it, and we'll leave it as just a nice little income stream, I suppose, but I really don't wanna touch it. So besides shipping the stuff out, which I'm already gonna be doing with Wellplay Games, that's it for, uh, for the wholesale store. That also leads us to the general flip, which is just when I go to Value Village and find things I wanna sell. That's worked out really well for me in this last quarter that just ended. Um, and I really think that that's something that I want to continue to do. But again, I wouldn't consider this a business because it's kind of luck of the draw. It's just whatever I find. I search it up on eBay, I flip it on eBay. Or whether or not I flip it on Kijiji or Letgo or Facebook Marketplace, wherever it is, uh, it's just kind of an extra little thing that we can do. And that kind of takes care of all the Poshmark stuff with clothes, my clothing eBay store, and my other eBay store, which is all just for that kind of stuff. We can use all those under that category to just be basically flipping pages uh, that we can just flip items on. Then I chose the two major social media pages that I also want to focus on in addition to the businesses that we're running because they have already kind of shown that they work and, uh, and those are going to be Clipbait, which is the one that we're doing a TikTok video on. I don't think it's out yet. It won't be out at the time of this video, but basically I'm following my journey on TikTok growing from zero to hopefully 100,000 followers. I'm not going to tell you what we're at right now, but it's exciting me. So uh, that's kind of what that page is all going to be about and I want to focus on that in the new year because it's very exciting. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be really cool. And then Car Country is my other Instagram theme page. It's all about the car niche, and that's why I said I wouldn't buy a page in the car niche. Uh, but it's got like 7,000 followers right now, and I'm just gonna continue it. It's not a lot of work, and it's very easy to do. 
And the last thing that I want to do on this channel and kind of cover is going to be investing. I'm going to be using Wealth Simple Trade, ideally, uh, or possibly some other accounts as well. We're going to be doing yield, uh, you know, investments and dividend funds mainly. Um, but we're going to kind of look into that kind of stuff and see what kind of money we can make on that. I've got the accounts all set up and we're ready to go. So I'm super pumped to make a video talking about that. We're going to put some money into it and see what we can make. So the last thing that I want to talk about on this channel is Common Lad itself and what my plans are for that because uh, welcome, you're here and you're watching the video. And, uh, and now you know kind of everything that I want to accomplish this year and all my businesses I want to be running. And, uh, and I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to work out well. We're going to really double down on things this year. However, Common Lad, I really want to push on TikTok. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I know YouTube is a little bit saturated. I, uh, in fact, it's pretty saturated. It's, it's very saturated. Yeah, it's bad. It's hard to grow on YouTube. All of the numbers have impressed me so far. I think I'm going to be mainly focusing on TikTok. In terms of all of my pages, actually, they're all going to have TikToks that I'm really going to push because TikTok is so volatile. There's so much movement on there. There's so much engagement and free attention that it'd be stupid for me not to double down on it. So if anything's getting done this year out of every single thing that I just talked about, it's TikTok. It's definitely getting all my focus and attention starting now. I really was kind of doing it uh, in you know late in 2019, but I really want to push it now that we're entering 2020 because I think there's so much potential and it's not going to last forever. Anyway, for Common Lad, I really want to grow the YouTube and TikTok's going to be a great way to push that. Uh, the Instagram's kind of not really my priority because again, Instagram sucks for growth right now too but I will be posting a little bit on there. But again, at the start, I'm mainly gonna be pushing YouTube and TikTok for Common Lad, and as well as LinkedIn. I'm gonna definitely look into LinkedIn and get some videos up on there, and I think that should be really cool. And I can hopefully monetize this as well. Me just talking to you guys, I don't wanna monetize you specifically, but maybe we could get you know some YouTube ad revenue going, eventually wait on the line. I'm talking about this with like 19 subscribers or whatever I have right now, this probably sounds ridiculous, but that's one of the goals. We can maybe get some brand deals in the future on Instagram, just throwing things out there or on TikTok. I want to eventually cover me making a merch page for this account once we're big enough, so that could be really cool. And then I wrote down courses as a potential. I might do some courses, but that would not be for way down the line, and, uh, and I don't know how much I charge for them. So that's, you know, maybe a little bit less of a realistic one. But the whole purpose of this is really just to cover me through all my other things that I'm going to be making money on. So I'm going to try and make money on everything else, and hopefully I can leave this one. Uh, so it'll always be, you know, free to watch, whatever. It's just strictly for you guys to enjoy and kind of understand what I'm doing, and because I really want to be on YouTube, and I want to be on TikTok, and I want to try to grow these different things. And that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Those are all my kind of strategies, well, not strategies, but plans and things that I want to do. I want to come on here and explain them all, just in case somebody's interested. I understand that not everybody wants to watch a 15 minute video or however long this thing is talking about different ideas that I have or plans as to what I'm gonna do, like who cares, but I figure at least I can send people uh, to here for some clarity um, because I feel like in a lot of my videos I can't explain what I'm doing within the net first 30 seconds of a video. So maybe you guys can get a little bit more of an understanding as to what's gonna be happening on the channel for this year. Uh, through this video. So hopefully it'll serve its purpose. I'm excited to go ahead and upload this and I'm excited to really double down on the amount of videos I'm going to do, be doing this year. Uh, the amount of TikTok stuff, oh my gosh. I think there's so much potential right now and I'm super excited about it. Can't wait to uh, discuss it all in future videos and uh, it's going to be fun. So please subscribe, like the channel. I know I'm begging, but uh, again, we're at 19 at the time of this video and who knows what we'll be at when you're watching it. And, uh, and anyway, it's awesome. Uh, so that's the whole entirety. That's, that's, a, that's this video. It's, it's done. So there we go. I'll let you guys go. I uh, will see you guys in the next video.